the TC Electronic Infinite Sample Sustainer. Everybody. I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and the Infinite Sample Sustainer is TC Electronics take on a freeze pedal. It's very easy to use and operate. You've got the usual input and output. There's a level control that allows you to control the mix between the sustained note and your original signal. There are separate decay and fade-in knobs. This allows you to kind of control the envelope of the sustain tone, how it fades in and how it fades out. There's a small switch that allows you to change the behavior of the bypass button from momentary to latch. Momentary um, activates the pedal only when you're actively holding down the button. Of course, latch will allow you to turn the effect on and off. This pedal also includes a simple reverb unit and there's a little switch that allows you to activate or deactivate the reverb effect along with a sustain. I know you're looking at the effects type knob, but before I talk about that, I do want to mention that there's an effects loop. There's a send and a return so that you can run the sustained note through different sets of pedals. Pretty cool. And then lastly, of course, there is that effects type knob. This allows you to adjust the number of layers of sustained notes that you'd like to play together, or you can select from one of three custom tone prints to have a really customized sustained tone. All right, let's get into some sounds. Here's my dry tone. Ah, yes. All right, let's go ahead and activate the infinite sample sustainer and see what we get. So the first thing you hear is there's only a reverb sounding right now. And that's because I've got the reverb switch turned on, that little switch there on the top. But the infinite sample sustainer doesn't actually make any sound until you press the button to capture some audio. So let's do that. I'm going to play a chord and then you'll see me press the button and the infinite sample sustainer will go ahead and capture a little slice of my guitar tone. There we go. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Now, once you've captured a slice of audio, you can now play your guitar over top of it. Really nice. And once you're done, just hit the button twice and your infinite sustain becomes less infinite. It goes away. I currently have the effects type set to L1, so layer one. And what that means is that every time I press the button to capture a slice of audio, the existing layer goes away. So I've only got one layer of sound at a time. So let me go ahead and try it again. We'll switch some chords so you can hear what happens. Here we go. Chord number two. The second effects type is L2 or layer two. And as you might expect, the pedal will now maintain two layers of sound at any given point in time. Let's try this now with single notes so you can hear what's going on.
The third effects type is, oh yeah, you guessed it, L3. This will allow you to capture up to three layers of notes or chords. Let's try this one out. The fourth effects type is called infinite, and as you would expect, that implies that there's going to be an indeterminate number of layers that you can add on as you create that sustained note. Let's give this a try and see how many notes we can get going here. I'm going to use single notes, not chords, because it gets pretty messy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know exactly what's going on there, but somehow the pedal is managing the levels between the layers so it doesn't get too overwhelming. All right, the next three positions on the knob are for the tone prints. I'm just going to show you the first one. And this one basically adds some modulation to the sustained note. Here we go. Yeah, you can hear a distinct chorusing effect. It's pretty nice. You can also hear that it's basically set to just one layer, so you're not gonna get a whole lot of layers with this tone print, at least layers on top of each other. So I know what you're thinking at this point. You're thinking, Bill, ah, that's cool, but that is a really plain sounding sustained note. Uh, really, that's it? Well. Yeah, in a way, that's it. But if you think about it, you're probably not going to use the infinite sample sustainer by itself. At least I'm not. I won't. I will incorporate it into a larger effects chain. So let me go ahead and throw some delay on the signal. I've got it set back to L1, and I'm going to use the sample sustainer just to sustain low notes and chords as I play over top of it, give you a feel for what it can do in a larger effects chain. Here we go.
Isn't that nice? The, it's great, actually, that the tone that the infinite sample sustainer creates is pretty simple and not too complex because it blends in really well with whatever you're actually playing on the guitar, and it blends in really well with whatever other effects you have in your effects chain. I like to think of it as a pedal that doesn't make a sound on its own, but it's a pedal that you actually play a little bit like an instrument. So this is video number two that I've posted with the Infinite Sample Sustainer. I predict there will be many more because I really like this pedal. I wanna know what you think about it though. Drop a comment, let me know your thoughts. Here are some other TC Electronic pedal demos I've done and I'll see you over on those videos.